of you, uh, all the foreign immigrants data are uh, integrated, but the problem is that they don't feel that uh, confident enough to feel integrated. So they are every day feeling like foreigners. Uh, the students, which I had at this moment, they came from a daycare where they played together when they were very young and now they are in the sixth grade. So they've known each other for a long time and uh, we are not so much like dealing with races or, or different religions or, or different backgrounds. So we are dealing with uh, people with different tempers and characters. And, um, but sometimes we have discussions about like how to dress up. We have a little arguing about what is the proper way to dress and so on. And this comes from a religion, as you know. Um, so I don't see any problems with uh, um, backgrounds in that in that. Since uh, my concern is um, what comes to studying, and uh, I see that there are many, many good students who study hard, and I, I'm not worried about them, but but some who should really study when they are young, but they're more interested in football, and I see that in Finnish society you cannot become something if you don't really study hard. So. That is my biggest concern at this moment. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm lucky to teach here at sports and health uh, called Terveysti, uh, the subject I, I teach. And very many of our immigrant students they take Terveysti, the health care or health science call, because uh, I think they like it, and many of them just like uh, what you say about. They want to be doctors or they want to be in the healthcare uh, uh, profession, professions. Uh, so uh, I have very big groups and uh, students, about 40 in a, in a class, and we never have any problems with the like, locals or Finnish or, or immigrants or whatever. And, and uh, I think it's very, in, uh, very interesting to talk about different between cultures. We sometimes we talk like we talk from sexual sexual health or something, and then I ask, what, uh, what do you think in your culture? Is it allowed if if you go with the boy to date or or something? And, and then we have a interesting uh, conversation about the differences of cultures. But uh, uh, no, no problems with with anything. We are all, all together, and and uh, and Terveysti on the health science is the most uh, popular uh, subject when what they do in matriculation exams. So uh, I think uh, most of the immigrant students in our school they they want to write it, they want to do the test in the matriculation exams, and they are interesting interested in it, and. I think I'm lucky that I can teach all of them. Yeah, um, you said that there are teachers from other countries. No, not from Finland. Uh, there is like no teachers from um, different countries, other foreign teachers. We do have some teachers uh, well, for the religion, for the religion in our school, but in your school, you said that we don't have. We have, but normal, most of the other subjects teachers, they are Finnish teachers, but what, uh, when it's coming to religion, they have a, I think. Why, why is that, like, different teachers, like, we have a lot of international, like, uh, people who are, like, uh, equally, um, equally eligible for that course, and, like, they speak this language, why is it, like, difficult for them to find work in teaching? In teaching, yeah, if, if they have the education, they have, uh, got, uh, they have done the studies in university, and, like, I don't see any problem to get work in Helsinki. But if, if it's lack of the education, that, that, that can be a problem. Yeah, isn't, isn't it so that uh, in Kulosa Yhteiskoulu there are several actually foreign originated uh, teachers? There are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
teachers are religion and uh, mother language teachers and the one there's a music music teacher i don't know if she teaches this year but she has been working she's from russia um, we have one example she's a, a young lady from finland finnish lady she studied in spain and uh, she graduated from spain and uh, for two years she has been having conversation with Opetus uh, Virasto. So it took two years to get uh, the papers here in Finland. And now she's getting this full payment. But so it took for two years. But I think there is a real problem with this. We don't accept here education which is done somewhere else. All right, next audience question. We have time for one more. If not, uh, I can ask for one question. Yes, so uh, in your opinion, I mean, in your point of view, uh, let's say that you have a boy who is recently graduated from primary school and uh, he's not speaking Finnish very well and he's, some, his grades are between six and seven. What are the education options in the second, second, uh, secondary education for him? Let's start from Johan. Uh, so you mean after Perusko? Yes, after yes. Perusko. Uh, well, I, I. And how, how, to, how should the situation be improved? Yeah, I think uh, the best thing uh, is to talk in uh, private, in that. Uh, um, it's not primary school, it's like. Uh, yeah, primary school. Second. Oh, right. primary Junior school. high. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, important that they have the discuss uh, discussion with their uh, counselor for the studies of Opitohja. So they they really, like Katja said, that it's important to know what what the young young people what they want to do. Uh, Lukia is not the only thing to do, and because there are many other good education also. And if he if uh, he wants to go to Lukio, he, he wants to study more. I suggest that they come to our school to take this uh, preparing education. And it, I, I think it should be larger in Helsinki because we have so many immigrants in Helsinki, and and because of the results, they are very good. So why don't we improve it? So just to uh, help help of the immigrants get better grades. And if, if the grades are six or seven, it's not the best thing to go to Lukio. But if you can uh, prepare for one year, it should be much better. So the other choice is to Anapikolu or study English. Vocational school. Okay. And uh, then this uh, mixture of Lukio and Anapikolu. You can do both. Yes. and. Uh, other choices too. I'm not the best person. I, I work in the lower grades. So I had a situation with my daughter, who is 17 years old, who visited uh, at the first um, Lukio class. And she's 17. She was very good in sports. She was an ice skater, French champion. And uh, then she, when we came here, she finished. She stopped the ice skating and she was two or three years in this uh, Rangitala, Rangitala, with some uh, Sumerians and Russian. And she was not learning any Finnish, she was learning some uh, Russian. <laughs> so it was terrible for her and she didn't do anything. She was two, she had 200 MSQs um, missing. So, so and I was not anymore able to write. Uh, any reason for missing so and uh, nowadays uh, she she has a problem that she doesn't know she wants to to finish that look here very fast so I don't know uh, she said to today to me that she has uh, found an option that she's going to go this year and then she's going to go in some um, I was looking or something 
and work at the same time to finish by one year. So I don't know how she's doing that, but uh, perhaps we should have asked her to come today because she, she, she's very good. She had uh, 10 in uh, mathematics at the control. Then she had four nines and one eight. So uh, for somebody who was not speaking any Finnish uh, three, four years ago, it's quite rare. And um, she had eight in Finnish and she had seven in Swedish, but she, she said she's sorry because she thought she would have more in Swedish because she had nine in Spanish and nine in English. And she was not speaking any Spanish and any English. That's uh, two, two, three years ago. So she learned the English, Swedish, and uh, Spanish at the same time as Finnish. So it's three languages and Finnish, four, four languages. She was only French speaking. So um, I hope you will give some suggestions. Mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's many things at this point of doing. Uh, for example, if he if he has a, a the gone to to Peru school in Finland, that's already a very good start because the most problematic group right now are the ones who come at 15, 16, 17 years old to Finland, and they're still they are um, in Finnish by Finnish law they're children, but maybe in their home countries they're already looked at as, as adults and then come to Finland to find a job. And in Finland we want them to go to better school. We say to them that you know we can't you can't do this job because you don't have an education. And uh, of course those are the most problematic group. Uh, the a person who has uh, has this almost seven or six or seven average uh, from better school has many opportunities. Uh, for example, this MUVA now is coming as uh, right now the Ministry of, of Education and Culture is doing with Opetus Hallitus, uh, they're doing a law for MUVA so that everywhere where there are immigrants enough, there would be this kind of preparatory school for high school, for upper secondary school. And then these kind of uh, preparatory schools. There are almost in every vocational school, in Hesote, in Varia, and everywhere uh, where is, there is a vocational school, there is a MAVA, which is for immigrants that they can study in Finnish and they can uh, try, or already start their vocational studies and try different kinds of, of, uh, of branches. And also Ammatti Starti, and so on. So, there are many places. And there is also a 10th grade for immigrants. Where there is only where they only try to get their grades better in in in, in Helsinki and Aikuusuki, and so there are many places. And if the person knows English, there's also all the English schools and IB schools and so on where where he could try to get to if 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 he gets his grades a little bit better. Uh, so there are many places. I have a question. Sorry. Yes. As you say, you can go to an English speaking school and then you can be somebody. Do you think I've done that myself? But I would like to see what you have to say about this, and then I'll tell you my story <laughs> and my point of view on the, the whole thing. Okay, okay just for the, for the uh, in sake of keeping the time, I would be giving uh, two uh, comments for people, and uh, those are for Johanna and Catherine. Catherine starts, and one minute only. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, now, now I'm mixing up. Yeah, yeah. You were asking for the success rate. So, uh, so uh, exactly. How many of these kids actually succeed in getting a proper job and so on? Not just go to school and pick up fingers and that's just because they study the film and still or in English only, for example. Yes. So one, 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 one minute discuss. One minute reply. It's very problematic the ones who um, want to actually. I have a few students in our Luma right now who. Their goal is to go to the Finnish French school or the English school, and uh, and their plans are, you know, to go abroad. Their plans are to go somewhere else and study also. And they, one of the many of them feel that you know Finland is just one country where they live, and there is 
Somalia, there's uh, America, and uh, all these countries where they they can go to, and uh, and they feel maybe that there are more opportunities abroad, uh, you know, for for everyone. But uh, I, you know, it's very problematic. I I suggest for everyone to go to a Finnish school if you want to live in Finland. <laughs> And I have also an experience of our students who was really good in uh, health science. And uh, I heard that lately that she had uh, gotten got a place to study in Great Britain and that she's studying there to be, to be a doctor. And uh, I think many of immigrants, uh, when they are in our Lugia, they, they might think that they go to abroad to study more. But, uh, but you had your story. Did no, you but basically, what happens is that. Uh, for example, I come from Southeastern Europe and we all believe that there is a brain drain from the country itself. Because it's not enough work there, but I believe it happens here exactly the same thing. This is a in-between stop for people who like to develop themselves. Even Finnish people become dentists in England because it pays better. And in my case, I graduated at Avatar Hall a professional chef, Alicard, in English. I was part of the first group they ever created. In the end, they said it's a 95% success rate after you graduate, you'll get a job immediately. I'm sad to say that that's not the story. Out of 20 students, only two of us are actually working as a chef right now. Mm -hmm. that, right. that was my whole point. Yeah. All I right. agree with you. Finish yeah. and then you get whatever you want. All right, now we're going to have uh, ladies. Thank you for coming to the stage. Now we're going to ch change the speakers. Yes, yes I would like to thank especially for Katya because uh, she just uh, came from our school and uh, what, what would we be without her? So <laughs> let's give a big applause. Thank you. Thank you.